Almost everybody flies. And one thing that a lot of people are afraid of is the plane crashing. But aside crashing, there's a lot more damage done inside, which is as a result of cyber security threat. A group of stakeholders in the industry came together to discuss and strategize a way forward. Tech Hub. Innovation used to be a closed system, a closed loop, um, and there was no security by design when they were designing innovation infrastructure. And with, regard, with regards to new technologies and emerging technologies, innovation is actually becoming more vulnerable to uh, cyber threats and cyber attacks because of the issue of no system, no security by design um, architecture that was previously the aviation environment. So um, this is actually becoming an important issue for aviation. We need to talk about uh, uh, civil aviation authorities, uh, air navigation service providers, uh, manufacturers, airlines, etc., and all of them uh, have their own ecosystem. And unfortunately, uh, every day, uh, every day, uh, continuously, the, the connection to internet and more and more technology usage in aviation is increasing. This is good in some parts, as I say, it increases the cooperation and opportunities, but also we need to be aware that it increased risks. If we need to give them a priority, of course, the, the assets that are directly connected to the internet are uh, a primary target to attackers and also uh, a targets that are more profitable for attackers are uh, more attractive for attackers. Let's say, for example, uh, websites uh, of uh, airlines uh, or the systems that are connected to internet like uh, airports or uh, physical systems, for example, uh, physical systems in airports, like flight information display systems, like uh, kiosks, etc., they are also vulnerable. I can say that the, the aviation system, in order to improve, and uh, we cannot say that we will prevent, but uh, somehow I can say that we can improve. You know, by identifying the weak point, we have to conduct uh, the periodic uh, audits for our systems. This is very important doing the continuous monitoring because uh, uh, I, I remember in one of the meetings, the manufacturers claimed that the aviation systems are resilient by design. But uh, those was, this is the history. It is not true right now because of the new, new players who are in the market. There is therefore the need for the African Union to prioritize the issue of cyber security threats of to aviation in Africa. Also, cooperation and information sharing can help to mitigate the risks posed by cybersecurity to the aviation industry in Africa. While we all had about single African air transport market with the African Civil Aviation Commission being the uh, executing agency, and as we become more interconnected inter 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 within the continent, and uh, we thinking of single African sky and uh, digitization comes in, the entire continent faces a huge, huge exposure to cyber security. So I think the implementation of SATEM should also seriously consider the issue of cyber security and the, the development and implementation of the single African sky. One of the other things we we'll see is that people would have more faith in tech companies. Tech Hub for a smarter you.